she's off at 105 years old in a class all by herself and with a fresh picked flower in her hair. Julia Hawkins was running for the record books at the Louisiana Senior Olympic Games. Come on, Julia, you got it, you got it. Come on. She is running 100 meters, a little bit more than a football field, and has to stay in that lane, despite not being able to see much more than about a foot in front of her because of her age. Miss Hawkins stays in race shape, mostly by jogging a mile or two a day near her Baton Rouge home that she and her husband built together back in 1948. And that's where we first met her, the day before the race. Well, hello, Miss Julia. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm David. Well, David, we've been waiting a long time on you. Well, <laughs> have you ever wanted to be a world record holder? Not particularly. No. Are you impressed by it? No, not particularly. I had too many other wonderful things before this. This is just a drop in the bucket. She grew up in the 1920s when a train ticket cost about a nickel. What was the state of the world when you were born? Much calmer, fewer buttons to push, <laughs> and, uh, but lots of books to read. She became a teacher and fell in love with gardening. She shared that love for nature with a fellow student at LSU named Murray Free Hawkins Jr., or Buddy as they called him. I met him the first day at LSU. I went home and wrote about him in my diary. He was so smart, and so clever, and so fun. He had a good sense of humor, and he was vivacious and wonderful. We were married by telephone. By telephone? At that time, Murray was at Pearl Harbor, serving in World War II. Together, they raised four children, and after 70 years of marriage, Murray died at the age of 95. Did you want to live to be this old? I couldn't imagine being this old. Without him, it's not the same. It's not quite as wonderful. What are your dreams? I don't have a dream. I just want to go to sleep and let it end. <laughs> That's what my husband did. We were sleeping together, and he sang love songs to me that night. Wonderful songs. So that's a wonderful way to go. Well, until that happens, we are going to cheer you on. Thank you. Which takes us right back to that 100 meter run. On race day, among those cheering her on were two of her former students, 90 year old Rosemary and Evelyn, who's 89. She finished in just under one minute, three seconds setting a world record as the oldest American and the first woman to run 100 meters in her age group. I'm so happy. Now, you know, every winner deserves a press conference, and this one set her own rules. Okay, one question apiece. You want to do it again? Yeah, <laughs> right now? <laughs> no, how about in 106? Do it again? Maybe so. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> See how I feel when I get up in the morning. <laughs> Deal.